hi everybody so welcome back to my channel once again my name is praise if you're new to my channel so we are back with more brains video all right and uh look what i'm wearing ooh, ooh. <laughs> do you like my outfit eh? so it's, it's it's um it's called grass field i just found them recently online i decided to buy just one item which is this right here what do you think comment down below and let me know <laughs> so they i bought this is a size 10 by the way um i wanted to buy one size uh, the size that i am at the moment and just see how if their size is like before i buy any more stuff <laughs> so look at it do you like it anyway let's get on with this video so in this video i want to share with you guys how i create different looks different colors um how i miss colors especially colors that i'm particularly afraid to wear because they're so bright right um i mix them with darker colors to create highlights and um yeah make it look just different <laughs> and kind of tone down the bright colors a little bit so i feel more comfortable wearing it all right like blonde for example this color right here it's color 613 is a blonde okay it's so bright i'm going to be mixing uh, blonde and brown in this video but obviously you can use any other color of your choice so this hair is actually old i'm about to take it out today and this is gonna be my next look <laughs> but before i do that i'm going to wear my natural hair for a while anyway um so i just want to show you guys so that is blonde right there. See how bright it is. So I have here two colors, the brown and then the blonde. And what I'll do here is I'm going to make the brown one more uh, longer. Just a little bit longer. So I'm going to cut it into two. I'm going to move it to one side. And then I'm going to cut it right in the middle. And then the side that is not tied. So as you can see, I have it a little tighter. The side that is not tied is where I'm going to feather, all right? I've already shown you guys how to feather these hairs, you know, which is like this, right? I've shown you guys. I'm gonna put it aside. I don't wanna waste your time. So I cut the brown one into two, and then the blonde one, I'm gonna cut into three. So what I usually do is to fold it into three. Fold it into three first. Make sure it's, it's exactly the same size, all right? Okay, so when you, once you get the size, you can now start cutting. So you cut one side and then you cut that side, then you have three. So now I have um, the brown cut into two, which I have already feathered. All right, so as you can see, the end is not straight. It's very more natural looking, all right? I will link a video for you guys to go and view if you want to know how to feather hair. Because um, I've already done it. I don't want to keep this, make this video too long. I have the blonde, which has been cut into three. So I have one shorter than the other one that's how i do it but it doesn't matter you can have both the same size if you want and as you can see they are quite thick and i need it to be very comfortable for my tiny little hands so i'm gonna split both of them into two split the brown into two which i'm gonna put down and then i'm going to go ahead and split the blonde into two as well like that i'll put the other side down to mix with the other one so now i have half of blonde and half of the uh brown which is much easier for me to hold so once you put the two together like this all right and then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna start splitting so i split add it to that side so split them to mix together so you're gonna keep doing that. You're gonna keep splitting both blonde wherever you see more of one color you split and add all right so you're gonna do that and then when you've done quite a lot of it you're gonna brush because we don't want it to tangle too much the more you split it and uh, you keep splitting and brushing splitting and brushing the more uh, mix the more the two colors will mix i'm gonna show you what it should look, look like so you can uh, to, as you can see this one right here right which i've already done the highlight is more pronounced as you can see compared to this one right here can you see how mixed this one is it's so mixed you can hardly see the brown <laughs> that's because they do what usually the louder color is will show more than the darker color that's how it goes anyway so i mix this one severally so as you can see you know and then because the brown is a lot longer the bottom 
it's uh more darker than let's say this side right here so it's up to you what you want if you want the color to be more pronounced then don't mix it too much and if you want it, if you want it more blended then you just keep going until you're satisfied so there you have it guys that's how i mix the colors and create different shades you can use different colors to do that um and it's a lot cheaper you can get like ombre uh, expression hairs but they tend to go for a lot they're a lot pricier than if you just mix the colors yourself and you know create your own unique look i will show you what it looks like on me when i do my braids with it but right now though i need to you know cut this hair and start by the way i want to show you guys something right when i have my braids and i'm getting bored with it this is what i do i'll show you <laughs> This is what I do. See, I take out some of the hair and I play with it. <laughs> well, that's when I'm bored with my braids, by the way. And I'm like, oh, I want my natural hair, man. It keeps me going. So I take a few out and I play with it. <laughs> All right. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.